Hi everyone, it's Miss Romig, and the book that I am going to share with you today is a little different type of book, different genre than the books that we have been reading. Uh, the books that I mostly picked for our read alouds have been fiction books. These are books that are have characters that were created in an author's imagination. The characters aren't real. The book that we're going to read today is a non-fiction book. It has information and facts inside of it, and the story is called Please Don't Wake the Animals, a book about sleep. So we're going to learn all about how different types of animals sleep. Uh, it is in the nonfiction side of our library, so the call number is 591.5-B-A-T. The author's name is Mary Batten, and it was illustrated by Higgins Bond. So here's Please Don't Wake the Animals, a book about sleep. Please don't wake the animals in this book. They are sleeping. And I'm just going to read this top part of the book. All animals sleep, but some need a lot, while others can get by with just a little. Says large mammals like an elephant sleep less than small mammals like a cat. Bats can sleep up to 20 hours a day. Predators, animals that hunt other animals for food, usually sleep more than prey, animals that are hunted. So here's the lions, they're the predators. They sleep more than the antelope up here, which are the prey, because they need to stay awake and alert. Animals sleep in all kinds of places. See where that gorilla is sleeping up there in the tree? It says that's one place where they can sleep and makes a new nest in a different tree every night. Not all animals sleep lying in a bed or curled up in a cozy nest. It says that the sloth sleep upside down. And horses can sleep standing up. Some animals sleep at night and some sleep during the day. You sleep at night, which is like what people do. That's called diurnal. And if you sleep during the day and are active at night, that means you're nocturnal. An anteater is a nocturnal animal. Bats wake up when the sun goes down and hunt for food after dark. Many kinds of animals sleep soundly throughout the, win throughout the colder months of the year. This type of winter sleep is called hibernation. And here it shows a squirrel. It says what the ground squirrel does is it eats and eats until its weight almost doubles. And then it digs a burrow in the ground. And then when winter comes, it crawls up inside and sleeps. It can survive without eating until the spring. Hibernation helps animals get through the winter when food is hard to find. And here you can see it's a bear and her babies. And they are hibernating inside 
a burrow, a den. Uh, it says a black bear can sleep for as long as a hundred days without eating or drinking. Insects don't sleep the way most animals do, but they can go into a resting state called torpor. So this is an insect that lives in New Zealand called a weta, and it says at night it's very cold and that insect freezes like an ice cube. And then in the morning, it thaws out, unfreezes, and starts moving around again. Snakes sleep in protected places when the temperature gets too cold or too hot. And this, it shows some garter snakes. You may see garter snakes out in your garden. These are garter snakes from Canada. And it says that what they do is they sleep, they pile up on top of each other to keep warm. Most birds sleep lightly, awakened easily by even a small sound. Uh, it says they sleep in a nest with their bills tucked under their wings. They can sleep standing on one leg, perched on a branch, or floating in the water. Some can even sleep while flying. Mammals that live in the ocean take many short naps instead of sleeping soundly for long periods. So an example of a mammal that lives in the ocean is a dolphin or a whale, and they need to breathe air. So dolphins sleep near the surface. It says that they can also sleep while they swim. They take little naps by letting half of their brain sleep at a time. Fish try to rest where predators can't find them. He's found a little area that's safe. And it says um, most fish sleep with their eyes open because they don't have eyelids. No matter how big or small we are, and no matter where they live, everybody needs to sleep sometime. And then it says, shh. Please don't wake the animals. That's the name of our book. Please don't wake the animals, a book about sleep. So I hope you learned some more about how animals sleep. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.